最高級の川崎です。あの今日は第3回のマーティカルアイデンティティのメディテシリーズ、えー、あのハワードヒア先生をお迎えしまして、今日はあの広瀬先生に名実通訳をお願いしまして、大変興味深い話を伺わせていただく予定です。最後までぜひあの学生の皆さん英語でも日本語でもいいので、どんどんどんどんとあのお聞きしたいことを考えていてくださいね。My wife is Japanese, and、uh, some of my relatives try to speak as much Japanese to her as possible. But they learned,、uh, the Nikkei learned Japanese kind of in Juku, after school Japanese language programs. So their Japanese is a little bit archaic. Nikkei 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 is a little bit a r c h a i 何世代か前のような日本語そのまま使っているのでですから今ハワイに伝わっている日本語というのはかなりこう古い日本語がそのまま使っているんではないかと思います。So、um, when my wife is in Hawaii,、um, some of my aunties who are a little bit older might try to converse with her in Japanese. Instead of saying お腹がすいたですか What's another way they might say it?、えー、あのまあ奥さんとですね向こうの方と話しているときに。まあ、今言ったように、本来はまあお腹が空いたですかという言い方をしたかったんだと思うんですけど。Okay, my wife hears、カオル、ひもじいですか ?But that's, that's kind of、um, just an archaic usage that's you know, kind of stuck there. それはいわゆるその古い日本がそのまま残ってしまっている例の一つです。Okay, and she's,、uh, she's Chinese from China, and her name is Son A. えー、この方はですね中国から来たあ中国人の学生さんですけどもソン・エイさんです。今日ここで今石川さゆりの甘い声を歌ってくれるそうです。はいどうぞ拍手<笑>将来皆さんも小学校の先生になる方がいらっしゃるかもしれませんけれども、まあ、国際コミュニケーションについてこのような例えをお使いになってはいかがでしょうか。Okay, at the community center, I had Presented them with different colors of origami paper. What color is this? Gold, silver, orange, red, etc. And when I turned it on the other side to reveal the white side, I tried to explain to students it's the same with people. They were a little bit closed minded. Maybe now, if, you know, if this goes on the internet and there aren't many videos about me, so, okay. But、um, basically, I think they do wonder why I left that circle in college. And, you know, you're at the age where you don't really explain it. Maybe I wanted to leave the door open so I could come back in, so I didn't make any、um, particular trouble. In my comfort zone. So, yes,、um, I, I can see that part definitely.、Um, my example is a little bit drastic, yeah, a little bit big. I think 
you can stay within your group of friends and I think you can just go out in a comfortable way. So I, you know, I hope that would be uh, something, part of your strategy if you're worried about disrupting harmony presently. Okay? So, you know, I was talking with Hirose Sensei about how he ended up in North Dakota <laughs> <laughs> over l dinner the other day and um, I said, when you came back to Japan, who was more surprised, you or your family, okay, seven years later? But these are the giant steps that people take. And uh, he's, he's got a wealth of experience because of it, but we can certainly understand that on the home front, you know, I said, well, how did your parents feel about it at the time? Can I tell him your answer? <laughs> he said, oh, I, I had set everything up, so they had no choice. Okay. <laughs> so that's next week's lecture. Go and pick his brain about it. But it was very intriguing. Okay. There's lots of things uh, within your own faculty. I know we come in as special guests, but, um, you know, no gomasuri here. Okay. But there's a lots of multicultural aspects to your faculty members. Yeah. He's got some, yeah. So, this is kind of, okay. It's a good question.